other assessments. There are a few further assessment types that you either need to be or may want to be aware of, but don't need covering in detail now. The Quality Improvement Project Assessment Tool, or QIPAT, Audit Assessment, AA, Teaching Observation, TO, and Patient Survey, PS. A QIPAT is completed at the end of a quality improvement project by your supervisor. You'll have more formal teaching on quality improvement methodology, so we're not going to cover it further here. But if you want more information now, we'd recommend searching for Learning to Make a Difference or looking at the BMJ Careers article, How to Lead a Quality Improvement Project. It's certainly worth considering what you'd like to do your quality improvement project on sooner rather than later. You could make a note of things that frustrate you or something you've seen done differently somewhere else that you think your present trust could benefit from. Finally, working in teams is encouraged and don't try to take on something too large as this needs to be completed within the time frame. The audit assessment tool is self-explanatory. There's no requirement for it to be done, but if you feel experience of audit in addition to quality improvement will help with your training, it's highly recommended that you get this assessment completed to both help demonstrate completion of it and to assess how you could improve your abilities further. The teaching observation is designed for you to gather feedback on your teaching competence. It can be used when formal teaching is observed in any setting which could include presentations you deliver or bedside teaching. There's no requirement for it to be completed, but teaching and training is a part of your curriculum and something you should be involved in throughout your career, and so we'd encourage you to consider getting formal feedback on it. Finally, the patient survey is something you may see mentioned, but isn't something that you're required to get this early in your training. It assesses areas that are important and obvious to patients, such as interpersonal skills, communication skills and professionalism.